Hi, today we are going to do a wax paper melted crayon art for fall and it's going to have kind of a fall theme to it. I have a piece of wax paper, I have some leaves that I have smashed in a book and I've let them dry in the book, okay, and that's important. It may, you have to make sure they're dry and you want to make sure they're really flat, okay, and I also have some crayons that have the paper peeled off and that's important too. My wax paper is folded in half, and my I'm, I'm going to work on just one side of my wax paper. So it's folded kind of like a book. It's about the size of a piece of notebook paper, and I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to work on the inside, just on one side. Okay, put my crayons there to hold that corner down. Now, the colors that I chose are kind of bright colors. Um, somewhat fall colors. You can choose any colors you want, but they it works best to have nice bright colors involved. And the way this works is you're going to hold your crayon and kind of flip over your hand like that. And you're, you're not drawing on anything. This is in my left hand because I'm right-handed. I'm going to pick up my scissors and I'm going to use my scissors to put to shave little shavings of wax, the crayon is made of wax, onto my wax paper. Okay, I don't want to scrape my wax paper and put a hole in it. I want to make sure I don't have any holes in my wax paper. And I don't want to cut myself, so I'm not going to go this way, because then I could cut myself. I'm going, to, I'm going to go away from myself. I opened up my scissors and I hold them at what is the fulcrum right here, okay, so that they don't close on me. I could also use a potato peeler, which might work well if you're at your house. If you're using scissors, have somebody help you out. I hold them on an angle, so I don't hold them straight up and down, and I don't hold them perfectly sideways. It's kind of on an angle. And I hold my crayon nice and stiff away from me. And when I scrape my crayon, little pieces of wax come off. Crayon's made of wax. Wax, when it heats up, melts. The wax paper has to be wax paper or this won't work. Regular paper doesn't work for this. We're going to need the wax that's in the paper to help us out when we heat it up. Okay. Now, crayon can get kind of staticky when you shave it. So you might find it sticks to your scissors and to your fingers and you just have to brush it off. Some crayons wax is softer than others. So some of them come off kind of in chunks a little bit and some of them um, are more smooth and curly. So I'm using a little bit of red, a little bit of brown. And you um, can have as many shavings as you want on your wax paper, as many colors as you want. You can mix up the colors or you can make little piles of different colors in different places. You get to decide. Right, use a little bit of pink. Pink is nice and bright. Okay. And white really comes out kind of cool. So I'm going to put a little bit of white. I gave you some crayons that don't have paper on them, but you might want to use different colors and take the paper off of the crayons that you have at home. This peach color comes out really neat. It's actually really bright. Okay, now I'm going to do one more color. I'm going to use kind of this purpley. Actually, I'll use some orange. Oops, that's rolling up on me. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of orange. If you get too much scraped off of the crayon, the crayon will get really thin and it becomes kind of breakable. So be careful, okay? And remember to always use your scissors pushing away from yourself, just like if you were cutting something with a knife. A knife won't work as well. You need to have a pair of scissors or a potato peeler for that. The next step is to take your leaf, pick the leaf that you think has the neatest kind of edge to it in silhouette, and stick it right on top of your crayons, shavings, and then sprinkle just a few crayon shavings on top of the leaf because we need a little bit of melted wax to end up there. And then you close your wax paper like a book. Okay. When you carry it over to uh, the place where you're going to heat it up, you want to carry it carefully and you want to carry it with both hands or the wax that's inside might just blow right out. Okay, the next part is going to be melting the wax. I have my wax paper closed, so the wax is on the inside, the leaf is on the inside. 
Okay, and I need to put a piece of paper beneath my my wax paper. Okay, and then I also need to put a piece of paper above my wax paper. And I'm going to heat up an iron, an iron that you would use on clothes. And this is the part where you're going to need an adult's help. They're going to heat up the the iron to kind of a medium heat, and then with the wax paper kind of sandwiched in between, they're going to iron right over your artwork. It's going to melt the crayon shavings and it's also going to melt the wax paper together so that everything gets heated up, melted together into a beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, when you take this off, you'll see the crayon is melted, the shavings are melted, and you also can see the beautiful colors in the leaf. And when you put it into a window, it works like a sun catcher. I'll show you. So here's some examples, one with a frame and one without a frame in the window. And it creates like a silhouette for the leaf. Um, the one with the frame, that's just black construction paper around it. And then you can see the beautiful colors. Have fun.